Hi, this is Iosif Xenogiannis and Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Cardiovascular Innovations Foundation, presenting case 115 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is a case illustrating some of the undergrade and retrograde solutions for CTOs with bifurcation of the distal cap. The patient was a young man who presented with stable angina. He had a recent PFO closure and was found to have a distal right coronary artery chronic total occlusion. This is the PFO device. He did have a distal right coronary artery CTO with a tapered proximal cup. The length was hard to determine due to poor feeling of the PDA and the distal right coronary artery from the left. However, there appear to be some septal collaterals. Given the challenges with distal visualization, the plan was to first try undergrade wire escalation followed by retrograde via septals and then undergrade dissection reentry. Undergrade escalation was done using a Corsair microcatheter and several guide wires, such as a Pilot 200 and a Gaia, but was unsuccessful. And that is why retrograde crossing was attempted. Surfing was done using the Sion, the Suo O3, and the Filter FC guide wire. However, it was not successful, and that is why contrast ejection was performed through the Corsair, which did demonstrate some continuous connection all the way to the PDA. Eventually, using the Caravel and a Fielder FC guide wire, we were able to cross into the right posterior descending artery. However, once uh, the uh, Caravel went all the way to the PDA, the retrograde guide wire kept on entering into the right posterior lateral branch instead of going towards the distal right coronary artery. And this is one of the common challenges with CTOs that have a bifurcation on the distal cap, which is that the retrograde guide wire keeps on entering the side branch instead of engaging the CTO. The other potential challenge is that we get through that CTO, but we close the side branch during the process. Now that we had a sort of a, a marker wire into the PDA, we tried to do repeat undergrade wire escalation, and it did appear at some point for the wire to go into the posterior descending artery. However, the wire eventually went into the right posterior lateral branch, but then we had a very difficult time advancing wire into the PDA. And this is despite using a guide catheter extension for better support. We spent quite a long period of time. We tried both going retrograde into the distal RCA and undergrade. And after more than an hour of attempts, eventually we advanced a dual lumen microcatheter, a twin pass, through which a Pilot 200 finally went subintimally into the course of the right posterior descending artery. And there appeared to be some significant uh, tortuosity at that point. After doing that, then that modified enough uh, the connection between the distal RCA and the PDA and we were then able to advance a PRO12 to the distal right coronary artery. After doing that, we were able to advance the retrograde guide wire and externalize it, and we did intravascular ultrasound that did demonstrate that we were into the uh, distal true lumen. There was a short area of uh, subintimal crossing, and then more proximally, the wire uh, seemed to enter again into the true lumen. So the wire here is in true lumen, and as we go further down, uh, the wire does enter into the subintimal space, but very distally, it is within the true lumen as well. We placed multiple stents all the way from the PDA into the proximal right coronary artery, and that uh, seemed to restore undergrade flow to the posterior lateral. However, unfortunately, there was very poor flow to the posterior descending artery. That is why we did some additional dilations with small balloons and ended up placing an additional 2 to 5 millimeter drug diluting stent. And that uh, did restore um, undergrade TM3 flow in the PDA. There was also TM3 flow into the right posterior lateral branch. Several lessons from this case. The first one is that uh, having a bifurcation, the distal cap of a CTO, can be challenging to cross with either undergrade or retrograde crossing. In both cases, 
undergrade wire went into the posterior lateral and the retrograde wire went into the posterior lateral. Eventually, what made the difference was advancing a dual lumen microcatheter over the undergrade wire and then advancing a pilot 200 towards the retrograde guide wire that acted as marker of the posterior descending artery. We also found that there was poor flow after standing and there was always the question whether there is spasm or dissection or if we are true lumen distally. We did know that we went retrograde and we were true lumen in the RCA and also we knew that from the intravascular ultrasound and that is why we ended up placing two additional stents that did restore T3 flow uh, to the PDA. Thank you very much.